everyone and welcome back to a new video. I hope you're all well so I'm just gonna adjust my t-shirt. <laughs> there we go. Um, so I'm back today with another Disney related video. Yay! Um, so I haven't done my Disneyland California or Disney uh, California Adventure Resort Parks a whole yet and that's because I bought a lot of stuff and I mean a lot a lot of stuff. So I thought for now I still want to share with you something that I got from California so I thought I'd share with you my pins so I've never done a pin video before other than my sister's pin video which I will leave linked down below for you if you want to check that out I haven't done my own collection but I've kind of shown them throughout hauls so I will um, we'll leave link down below both my Disneyland Paris hauls for you if you want to check those out as well I'm sorry about the lighting I'm using natural lighting in a different camera and I don't know how camera settings work I know I'm terrible but if the lighting's a bit off I do apologize for that uh, so without further ado let's get into the video so I am doing my Disneyland California pin collection video two of these are actually from Disneyland Paris and I showed in my Disneyland Paris haul uh, from May which again I will leave link down below for you if you want to check that out I'm also wearing my Disneyland California ears that I got while I was out there so I'm gonna pick up my lanyard and let's go through them so first I'm going to show you my lanyard if you can kind, kind of somewhat see it um, I'll show you like this this is an Oswald the Lucky Rabbit um, lanyard I wasn't really in the market for a new lanyard and I mainly wanted it for like keys and stuff like that because when I was at uni I had um, my keys I still do actually on like a hand wristlet um, lanyardy sort of thing um, because I always like pulling them out and then I knew where they were um, I say now, my home keys are on one rather than my uni keys, obviously I'm not at university anymore. Uh, so I wasn't really in the market for like just a pin related one, but I ended up getting this one. And I really like this one. It also has the jangliness. Um, this one has a little section that you can pull off at the end, so you can have like your keys or whatever on the end. So you could have that for pins and then put your keys on that one. Um, or like if you have something that you can link your like annual passes or your like photo passes or you know your day passes whatever on that as well and it says Disney Parks on it um I don't think it was too expensive I can't really remember but I know I got it in the pin shop in the Pacific Wharf area of DCA so um I'm not really sure if what area is called it's basically the shop opposite um the Little Mermaid ride so you have the Little Mermaid ride on so say you're coming um from like what was Paradise Pier but it's now Pixar Pier um you have the Little Mermaid on your left you have the entrance to Grizzly Peak you know the walkway where the rapids are and then on your right is a little shop where they do kind of spirit um tees and jerseys and then they have pins in there so that's where I got it from so let's get past the first two and I shall which side should I go down first let's go down the main side so this first one's from Disneyland Paris you'll see it in my haul so I'll skip to the next one so this is a Tiana pin now what's really cool in California which um, as far as I'm aware I don't think they do do in Disneyland Paris, I've never seen them, is they do mystery pins. So you can buy a um, a box with like one pin or two pins or like little packets if you uh, spend a certain amount you get mystery pins. And um, I think Charlie, so my sister got me um, a box with two mystery pins in it. Um, Tiana was one of them and I really liked it because I got to meet Tiana on this trip which was amazing and I really like this pin, it's quite nice, quite classic, um, you know, in, the, in her lovely princess green dress and I think she looks really pretty and I love it so much. So the next one we have this really cool, um, I don't know if you can really see, if I kind of do that, um, I don't know if you can see, it's see-through so the glass is actually um, see-through um, this is rose pin I got this from a little kiosk again opposite um, that shop in the Pacific Wharf area I hope it's the Pacific Wharf area but it's basically where you come through from Cars Land you cross that bridge and there's a little kiosk on your right hand side opposite the pin shop um, so I got that and I actually got the Aurora pin underneath uh, from that kiosk as well and it's just really cool again Beauty and the Beast rose pin it's like you know stained glass but obviously it's see-through so it's like blue and it's like really pretty um, and I really like it that was a complete impulse buy I wasn't planning on getting it and then I saw it and I was like yeah I have to have this so the next one like I said is this Aurora pin now this one I actually scouted out on the Disney Store US website so I have this terrible habit of torturing myself and going on the Disney um, Store US website where they have all this amazing stuff actually in fairness it's where I found these ears um, as well as Instagram, I saw people wearing these on Instagram so I went on the Disney Store US website to find out how much they were um, and then when I went I knew exactly the years I was found, um, looking for and I got these in the Emporium on Main Street in the Disneyland Park 
Um, so I saw this on the website and again this is from the kiosk and I just fell in love with it. They do it for all the princesses. Again, this was February so I don't know if they still do them but it's like a little banner pin um, with some little tassels on the end and obviously the princess and, and of course I got Aurora because Super Beauty is my favourite um, and I love it so much. I've got quite a few, not actually from uh, California but from Disneyland Paris. I always collect a um, a Disneyland pin, an Aurora pin when I'm out there so it's kind of like a necessity that I always have to pick one up. The next one is the second princess one I had in the mystery box and that is Mulan. Mulan is one of my absolute favourite princesses. She is fantastic. I love her so much. I actually got to meet her on this trip as well because we managed to go during the uh, Chinese New Year, so Lunar New Year. It was the year of the dog um, and it was amazing that um, they did meet and greets with Mulan, uh, Mushu and then Pluto and Mickey and Minnie in their Lunar New Year outfits and oh, it was so good. It was so good. Um, so yeah, I was really happy. I got to meet Mulan on the Sundays, so the second day we were there, and the Mulan pin I love so much. Again, that was from the little uh, pin shop. The next one I have to show you is this Cuddle Party one, which is from Finding Dory, I'll see the otters, and I love this so much. So this pin is actually from Disneyland Park. It's from the um, the shop where you come out from the Winnie the Pooh ride. Well, I don't think you, you don't, do you go through? No, you don't go through the shop. Um, but when you come off the shop is next door and it's like full of like we, as soon as you walk in it's just like the smell of like sweets and just treats just hits you and it's like oh. Um, but basically we wanted, I wanted this Disneyland uh, tote bag which I know you can get in Disneyland Resort and Walt Disney World it's like a Winnie the Pooh tote bag and I really really wanted it so um, we had to pay a little bit extra um, and so um, Charlie my sister was like well why don't you go find um, a pin and I was like okay and this was the only pin that I liked and it was the most expensive but it's so cute because I love the otters so it says cuddle party on it it has hearts on it it's kind of like this the blue and it's the grey with the otters and it's just so cute and I love it so much so the last and final pin I have to show you on this side is my Disneyland pin. I love this because it's in the original like Disneyland font and you know wherever you go in Disneyland if you get the merch. Just, uh, for instance I have two of the Spirit T Spirit jerseys, I'm not really sure what they're called and they both have this um, font on the back of them and I love this font so much. And also actually I think on, um, I have the I Live in Fantasyland, Fantasyland t-shirt that has Fantasyland in this font as well and I think my other, I know definitely one of my other Disneyland um, ones have this font as well. Basically, it's a classic gothic like Disneyland font and I love it so much. So I got this one from a shop in Adventureland. Um, it's, I think it's it's a little pin shop again. It's next to, um, I think it's like next to the Indiana Jones shop or it's in that area. It's just before the exit um, to Adventureland onto Main Street, so like the Castle Square. It's kind of, I'd say it's opposite the Tiki Room. Um, I didn't do the Tiki Room while I was there. Definitely regret not doing that, so I'm gonna have to do that next time. But I love this pin so much. I ended up getting this pin for my mum as well. So we have matching pins, and I just love the colours. It's very much like it's a small world, you know, with like the bright colours and like the funness and the childishness, um, but like in a good way. So yeah, I really like that pin. So if we move on to the second strand, again, this Phantom Manor pin is from Disneyland Paris. Um, and then we're going down. Now, three of these pins actually are mystery pins. So um, these are all individual mystery pins, um, either in boxes or packets. So um, like, I think different um, boxes mean like different pins so um, like you know whether it's kind of like in like an emoji style or in like princesses or like original characters or Pixar characters so um, one of them I got is Sully look how cute he is he's like a tiny little Sully um, so this one I really really like I love Monsters Inc Monster University Monster University is other than Incredibles 2 is and Coco I would say is my favourite Pixar film I love it so much I probably watch Monsters University and Monsters Inc more than any other film whatsoever um, and like I said I love it so much and he's so cute and I mean he doesn't look like he would scare you I love it um, he actually I think he is either from the pin shop in Adventureland or the one in Pacific Wharf I'm not too sure about that um, what I'll do is um, ne I'll write down all the pins that I have on this lanyard and I'll write down next to it in the description box below where I got them from just in case you want to check. Again, this was February so I don't know if they'll still be around but it's worth checking anyway. The next one I got, this is really cool one of Goofy. Again, a mystery one. I'm pretty sure this one was from the Adventureland one. I kind of picked up a mystery one so I'm pretty sure this is from the Adventureland one. And look, isn't he cool? I'm guessing he's Adventureland because of the way he's dressed. So he's dressed kind of like... Um, 
an adventurer, an explorer, kind of in the jungles, um, and I really like it. Goofy's one of my favourite characters, um, but it's so cool. I love the green khaki and his little hat, and he just looks so happy. So happy. Um, and then the next one I have to show you, I know for definite this is from the Adventureland store, and that is Mad Madam Mim from The Sword in the Stone. And Sword in the Stone is a film that I watch probably two many times that's because sky movies always has it on so i always end up watching it and like although she's meant to be like a villain i don't really think of her as villainous i feel her she's more like cheeky um but i really like her anyway and i think she's so much fun and i love her purple hair and her outfit i mean she wears pink and purple like i wear pink and purple i'm wearing pink today so i'm, I'm basically mad madam Moon today uh the next one i have is a mystery pin i know this one's from the pacific wolf um because when Charlie again, my sister was buying pins, um, she was the lady behind the desk was like, "Oh, you can pick a mystery one." So she was like, "Oh, you know, Becky, do you want to pick one?" I was like, "Oh yeah, go on then." Um, so I'm going to get this Mickey one, and he's laughing and smiling, or he looks like he's about to sneeze. One of the two. Um, but this is square one, and Mickey looks so happy, and yeah, it's just really simple. Um, I feel like it looks kind of classicy, like kind of vintagey, but maybe that's just me. But I like it anyway. It looks so cool. And then the last one I have to show you is, again, it's from the Adventureland pin shop, and that is Alice. So it's Alice on the Flowers. Um, I was really contemplating whether to get this or not. Um, Alice in Wonderland is one of my favourite films, but still I was contemplating. And in the end I said, well, why not? Let's go for it. I'm on holiday. Um, so yeah, I really like it. She's kind of like, you know, looking up to the sky, like daydreaming, and I like the flowers. And yeah, I, I just really like this one. I think it's really nice. And that's the end of my pins. Let me just double check I've done them all. Yeah, I've done them all. So that's the end of my pin collection. I hope you like it. I feel like the, my room has suddenly gotten really dark, but that's because the sun has gone behind the building. So if it's got really dark, I really apologise. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I don't know when I'm next going to be going to Disneyland. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to go to California next year. I'm not sure. If not, it will definitely be Disneyland Paris and then Tokyo one day. So um, if you guys want to see um, my other pins from Disneyland Paris, please let me know. Um, I'd love to share them with you. Maybe I will do a video, maybe not. Um, maybe I will do um, an updated one of my sisters. You know, let me know and I'll definitely do one for you. And those haul videos will be coming to you. I do promise I will, will, I will do them can't speak today um so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon goodbye